Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. I'm Miss Laura. Can you tell me your name? I am so thrilled to be here today. Thrilled is a feeling word that means very, very happy. Maybe you're feeling thrilled like me and you have a big smile on your face. Your face might look like this, but maybe you're feeling a little bit sad because you wanted to go play outside and the air was really smoky and you had to stay inside instead. Your face might look a little like this. One way that I like to check how I'm feeling is to look in the mirror. Let's do that together. Let's see, what mirror should I use today? Should I use my rectangle mirror? My rectangle mirror has four sides. One, two, three, four. I think I'm looking for a mirror today with no sides at all. Let's see, not this time, rectangle. Hmm, should I use my oval mirror? Oh, let's see, my oval mirror has no sides, and, but it's kind of stretched out. I want something that's not so stretchy. Not today, Oval. Let's see, should I use my circle mirror? I think that's the one I'm gonna use today. Let's look at it together. Let's see. Hmm. Feelings, feelings everywhere. Feelings here and feelings there. I'm gonna look at the pictures and see which one matches how I'm feeling. I think I'm feeling happy. Look at that smile. I have a smile too. Now it's going to be your turn to look in your monitor and pick how you're feeling. Now it's your turn. Get right up to your screen and point to the picture that best matches how you're feeling today. our feelings is really important. Now let's see how one of your friends is feeling. This is Elliot. Can you say hi, Elliot? Hi, Elliot! Elliot is remembering in this picture that he got a haircut. He combed his hair back with some gel and his family took a picture of him. Elliot, you look really handsome in this picture. I wonder how Elliot is feeling. How can we find out? Sounds like a case for our feeling duck detective. Quack, 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 quack. Feelings duck detective, can you look at Elliot's face for clues? Quack, 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 quack. He says that he notices that Elliot's smiling and his eyes are bright. And Elliot is looking like this. Hmm. Thank you, Feelings Duck Detective. You quacked the case. If you think that Elliot is feeling proud, I want you to make a super proud face like this. If you think that Elliot is feeling bored, I want you to make an ultra bored face like this. Oh, I see a lot of proud faces out there. Elliot, we, we think you're feeling proud in this picture. Thank you for sharing your story. Um, remember, boys and girls, if you want to be featured, send your information to the address below. Ooh, you know what that means. It's time to check our daily schedule. We have so much to do today. Let's see. First, we checked our feelings. Then we're going to learn about the five senses. And then to end, we're going to sing our goodbye song. Let's start our learning by learning about the five senses. 
by looking at our intentional message, it says we have five senses. And we do. Our five senses help us explore the world around us. We have a song that's going to help us remember. Are you ready to sing with me? Get your singing voice ready. Me, 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 me. Here we go. Five senses, five senses. We have them, we have them. Seeing, hearing, touching, tasting and smelling. There are five, there are five. I heard a lot of wonderful voices out there. Now let's read the rest of our message. It says, we see with our eyes, that's right. And we smell with our nose. Today we're going to learn about another sense. It is hearing. What do we hear with? Do we hear with our stomach? No. Do we hear with our elbow? No. But I wonder if an elbow could hear what its favorite sound would be. Hmm. Can you point to what we hear with? That's right, we hear with our ears. And I brought a few things that we can listen to today. Okay, first thing I brought was a bowl and a spoon. Are you ready? Let's see what this sounds like. Ooh, that sounded kind of loud. If you're feeling really adventurous and your parents let you, you can take pots and pans out of your kitchen and bang on them with spoons and it'll sound just like that. I also brought this funny thing. Does anyone know what this is called? It's a recorder. You use, you use it to make music. Ready? Ooh, that's kind of a loud song. Masar is not very good at playing this. Let's see what other things I found. Let's see. Ooh, this is a duck bell. Let's see. What does that sound like? A couple more things. I brought this thing that I got from my husband's tool chest. He uses it sometimes to fix things. Let's see what this sounds like. Ready? Ooh, kind of sounds like a pattern. And last, I brought my guitar. No, it's a small guitar. It's called a ukulele and it makes this sound. Ready? Which was your favorite thing to hear? Now I want you to listen to all the things around you. You're going to have to be as quiet as these feathers are. And I want you to tell me what you hear so I can write it down. Ready? Ooh, I'm hearing some good things. I can't wait to write. Let's see. I'm going to start my writing here. I heard someone say that they heard a fan in their house. It's a good time for a fan. It is very hot outside. Let's see. In my house, my fan looks like a box. And it looks like a flower in the middle. And it goes around and around and around. Let's see if we can stretch the word fan and find the beginning sound. Are you ready? And that's right, it's an F. Let's write the F underneath the fan in my blue marker. Big line down, little line, little line. F for fan. What else did you hear? Ooh, someone says they heard a door. Sometimes I hear those in my house too. I hear doors slamming and doors opening. Let's write, let's draw a door. Now a door is a rectangle and it has a knob that you can turn like this. Let's see if we can stretch the word door to find the beginning sound. Ready? D or D or D. That's right, it's a D. Let's write the D next to the door, right here. What else can you hear? Let's see. I heard someone say they heard some music in their house. Ooh, is it salsa? Let's write that right here. Now, T 
to signify music, I am going to put a musical note like this. And this is what the musicians use to make music. Now let's stretch the word music to find the beginning sound. Ready? Mmm, music. Mmm, music. Mmm. That's right, that's M. Let's write the M on top of the musical note right here. Big line down, big line down. Just like that, M music. What's another thing you hear? Mm, laughing. Oh, I hope you hear lots of laughing where you are. It's a little bit hard to draw laughing, but I'm gonna do my best. Let's see, I'm gonna make some lips like this, and they're gonna be open like this. A big smile, and I'm gonna write the words ha, ha, ha. And that tells me that someone is laughing. Ha, ha, ha. Like that. Let's see if we can stretch the word laughing to find the beginning sound. Ready? Oh, laughing. Oh, laughing. Oh. That's right. L. Let's write the L on top of the lip since they also start with L. Ready? Big line down. Little line across, L laughing. Look at all the wonderful things you hear around you. A fan, a door, music, and laughing. Now it's time for us to check in with our book friend. We are looking at Gerald from the book Giraffe Can't Dance. I wonder what Gerald is up to. Let's find out. Oh, hi. Listen up for a good joke. What do you call a giraffe with carrots in its ears? Anything you want, they can't hear you. How do trains hear? They use their engine ears. Remember, you can find me and all my book friends in books. You'll always have a friend when you have a good book. Oh, Gerald, he always has something to say. Now, don't forget to check on all your book friends and all the books in your house and on the Sora app. Ooh, you know what that means. The bell means it's time to check our schedule. Let's do that together. I'm going to use my dinosaur marker. Let's see, we checked our feelings today. We learned about the five senses. And now to end, it's time to sing our goodbye song. Are you ready to sing our goodbye song? Here we go. Goodbye song. Sing it with me. One, two, it was nice to see you. Three, four, it was good to explore. Five, six, I hope that it sticks. Seven, eight, so in school you'll be great. Nine, ten, can't wait to see you again. And my friends, that means that this is the end. Bye, my friends. I hope I get to see you tomorrow. We're going to be learning about a whole new sense. Bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.